Hey tribe, it's Gwen. Happy Monday to you all. Um, like Sundays are my Friday, so Monday is the start of my uh, my days off from my Matrix job, and I get to play here with you all, so I'm excited. It's a Monday. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to all my fans and followers to this beautiful reading on the 16th. Um, I have a lot of messages. I'm wearing my carnelian and tiger's eye cat ears today. Cat energy right away this morning. Uh, we have a house cat here and um, <clears throat> who acts more like a barn cat without a barn. We want him to be inside. He finds his way outside. It's a busy traffic road. <sighs> I feel like I'm always putting a little protection bubble around this wild cat. Right, who acts like a dog too and a bird. So I don't know, and the animals around here are crazy. Anyways, I'm out watering flowers today and I see Titty running across the road and in his mouth he has this yellow bird. I can see it's a yellow bird. And um, so I was instantly called to stop what I was doing, grab my phone and film him to show my sis here. And, um, and then all these messages started coming through like... It's amazing how, like, when you're in the now present moment, how the universe is, and spirit and your guides and the animals and nature, everything, everything is talking to you. When we slow down, when we are mindful, when we take care of ourselves, when we, you know, like, the universe is working for us. It's a new mindset I have, okay? It's powerful. It's powerful energy, okay? So, um, drop me some love down below. Hit smash the fucking thumbs up button, y'all. Like, I love this new me now. Like, these this short readings I'm giving you, playing with the filters, showing you my clown humor and my crone wisdom. Like, so yeah, like, I'm, I'm loving this new energy, in the now moment. And so like the universe is talking to us. So this cat coming across the road, where did I go? What would my, where instantly I was being transported to a deck that I have. It's the mini line strider tarot. And it was a picture of a cat with the yellow bird in its mouth. And I was like, Holy crap. This is a collective message here on the 15th, which is a six frequency, by the way, about sixes are about coming into some sort of balance in your life. Six. I need to refocus, okay, on cat energy, about your sovereignty, about independence, about stepping outside of the box and doing your own thing, right? Like, we want this to be a house cat. Fuck. He's like, nah, bitch. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to step outside the box. I'm going to be me. I'm going to get this canary. Or it was a goldfinch. Excuse me. I want to say canary because the canary is here too. Here's the cat and the canary. Okay. I just did a reading. Um, if you have Pisces in your chart, definitely check out the Pisces spirit animal because the same yellow bird came out for Pisces. So Pisces is, you know, that's my rising sign. It resonates deeply for me. Card 12, card 13 in my animal oracle deck. Progression in your journey. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You remember being a kid and hearing that song between Sesame Street and Electric Avenue? Electric Avenue? Like, I sing your own soul song. That's that yellow bird. That's the canary. Being authentic in your own skin attracts your tribe. Being uniquely you. Claim your independence. From the Matrix... From a relationship, from a job you fucking hate. This is a creative time where the universe is supporting you. Cat got the fucking goldfinch, y'all. You know what that tarot card is? It's the nine of fucking cups. I'm so excited for you all. It's a beautiful, powerful message. He does have a yellow. You may not see the yellow there, but over here it's very yellow. He has a yellow bird in his mouth and the cage is open. It's the wish fulfillment coming in. Nine of Cups. There it is. Okay. You, oh, the cage represents you, let's just say. And you opened the door to love, to what you were manifesting, to receive, right? Yeah. 
I'm going to claim it. I'm going to snatch it. I'm going to claim what's mine. Okay? So then I was called to look up the goldfinch. I knew this was the canary. But I, my sis said that that was a goldfinch. And so I was like, what is that? What's the goldfinch's message today? You know, about our manifestations, about our wish fulfillment. The Native Americans see the goldfinch as a symbol of unbridled joy, inspiration, motivation, and positivity. The song of the goldfinch represents self-expression. In some tribes, it pretends prosperity or liberation, the ability to be yourself without constraint. Okay? It also pretends a... Pretends a happy relationship, new developments with somebody that's already in your life, or you may encounter somebody new. Okay? Um, and no matter what, wonderful things, <clears throat> no matter what, wonderful things are about to happen in love and romance. Okay? So, you know, you know going wrong to dive deeper into that nine of cups. What is that nine of cups about? Because Teddy sure got my attention this morning. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where that bird is, but I just kept saying, poor bird, poor bird, poor baby bird. <laughs> but he's a wild creature, right? And that's what they do. So it's cycle of life, right? Showing that. Circle of life, excuse me. Right? The hunter capturing its prey, <laughs> you know, too. So it, when I clarified and I got the King of Wands, I was like, oh, Shaw, sure, yeah, it could be in a romantic situation here with a King of Wands energy, or it's just a brand new creative pursuit. I'm talking to my lions out there, darlings. This is all about sovereignty, being a leader, attracting in new opportunities. Yes, darling, highly attractive, magnetic, charismatic, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I'm talking to you, right there. Ooh, that line looks fierce. <laughs> Look. <sighs> and I didn't know, like, I thought that's just the only card that came out because there was another card stuck behind it. That's a message, too. And what was the card stuck behind it? Seven of Cups in reverse. That's you taking off your rose-colored glasses or whatever. Yeah, because that's about illusion and delusion or confused by too many choices in your life. you got to take a step back and what fills up my cup? Seven of Cups energy. Am I living in a fantasy, a reality, lost in a daydream mode? Not, not, with it, not in reverse. I know what I want. I'm going after it. Cat got the goldfinch. Because I released my pain. Three of swords in reverse. Yep, yep, yep. That's the most painful card in my deck. And it's in the reverse. It tells me you are healing. And swords are about the mind. It's a, it's a mindset as well. Okay? And the underlying energy was the four of wands, my love. Okay? And four of wands energy is about celebration, a gathering even, a coming together of a sacred marriage, okay? Four of wands. Connections, um, marriages, that person you're supposed to be with, a celebration, families coming together, harmony, the fours, okay? Home foundations. There's a circle being depicted there too, I, and I'm moving in circle here, yeah. <laughs> A situation is shape-shifting. I said, Earth Magic deck. How how else are you supporting us? Besides through the animals talking to us all the time. In the familiars in our life, especially the ones that chose us as parents. And I'm talking about those cats and those dogs, right? Or maybe you have a different sort of, you know, you know critter in your life, right? You know, those reptile owners or you know those are familiars too my loves so take a look at those relationships in your life and see what they're trying to teach you as well it's super important there's yeah a lot of animal energy coming out today um <clears throat> yeah when i the last time i had my cat i miss my milo i send her energy all the time miss milo i love you girl 
when I started traveling, I asked her and she did not want to travel. She did not want to go on planes. So I rehomed her. Um, but she was definitely my shadow kitty and uh, teaching me about aspects of myself that I still needed to heal. And boy, was she honorary, but so loving, you know, and it took us a while to form a bond. Um, yeah. And those of us who are these wounded warriors, I guess you can say, uh, it, we do have a wall of protection around us and have, you know, have learned how to forced almost to set healthy, uh, extreme boundaries too. So to allow love in and allow help in to receive again is such a great energy. I'm saying nine of wands cause it's right here. And justice is coming. What you're putting out into the world is coming back to you, my loves. Okay? Justice. I love that. Six frequency today. Earth magic. There's the clouds. A situation is shape-shifting. It's also saying you are supported by the heavens. The cloud, the cloud people, whatever you want to call them. And the fact that the waterfall is right underneath that. And I just went to a waterfall yesterday. Uh, and waterfalls talking about the effortlessness of the abundance and the blessings and the flow in your life. Allow. Let go. Stop trying to control. You are going to be blessed in a multitude of ways. Think of the force of that waterfall. Oh, a never-ending supply of water from that fall. Oh, of love. Water is love to me. In a reading, okay? So, <sighs> supported by the land, supported by the heavens here, supported by the waters, supported by the mountains, supported, okay? <clears throat> Ground into earth. It's important. Tune into some tree energy here. Okay? As above, so below. As within, so without. So the universe, so the soul. That's this. Okay? Be prepared for some awe, and awe in your life. Because you are breaching here, my loves. We're talking about birthing a new life. And think of the whale coming out of the water. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! I got shields for you, babies. Okay? So that's where I'm leaving it today. I love you all so fucking much. I just saw one, two, three, four on the clock. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Drop me some love down below. Share these videos. Follow me on TikTok. I'm doing that more than Instagram. Instagram is just really like where I, I like to post my um, art uh, which I'm going to get back into doing. Um, so I'm, I'm excited, excited for all the new flowing into my life. And, um, again, welcome to those new subscribers. I see you. I appreciate you for hitting that subscribe button and liking my videos and leaving new comments. And, ah, I just love it. I love the interaction. So sending love and blessings and abundance to you. Remember your sovereignty and grab that fucking goldfinch. Mm-hmm.